Hello, everybody. Welcome to One Drink, the podcast where we talk about one topic for one drink. I'm Matthew. And I'm Oliver. And today, we are bringing you some controversial topics. Yeah. So, we tend to stay away from big issues. Yep. Popular sure. issues, main issues. We tend to stay away from that on the show. Mm-hmm. However, we decided that some big topics that are controversial in the world today, we'll give it our spin on it. Why not? We're not going to stick on one for a long time. No. Nope. We're just gonna boom real quick, give our opinion, and give our one drink opinion. Yeah, you know our one opinion, <laughs> exactly. and then move the f- <laughs> on. There's other sh- the world happening except yeah. for crap. But I mean, these are like you know, definitely things that people think about. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, um, that are actually happening. Yeah, and you know they're borderline, right in our realm. Yeah, they're not too, you know, yep. out of the. Crazy yeah. shit that yeah. we don't talk about. Yeah. So, you ready to get into this? I'm ready. Are you ready to cause... I'm ready to get controversial. So yeah. this It's like almost a debate almost. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even though we're probably going to agree yeah. on pretty much every single thing. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty but much. you never know. I know. We'll, we, see. we'll see. We are, we'll we see. are opposites. We'll see. <laughs> opposites attract. True. So... The death penalty is sometimes justified. 100%. I believe... I don't think it gets used enough. I am going to agree with that 100%. Like, for me, if you take a life... Yeah. And you are, A, admit to the murder... Yep. Or... I think if you admit to the murder... Yep. You should die. Yeah. I think if it's premeditated. Like, if you yes. go and yeah, yeah, plan yeah. to kill somebody, like murder one... Yep. I think it's justified. Yeah. I also think that if you mess with kids in any oh, sort of way, 100%. I think that that should be on the table as well. So I just saw a thing on the news where this guy, he's in prison. He's in prison for life. Mm-hmm. But what he does, he finds proven child molesters yep. and he kills them. Yep. Good. And I love it. And the judge... Is just like, okay, another hundred years, you know. Right. But, I mean, you just don't mess with children. No. That's no. the bottom line. Yep. 100%. You know what I mean? Yep. They're totally. innocent. They're, yep. they're children. Yep. Come on. Yep. But and I think the death penalty, if proven guilty yep. and admit to the murder, yep. because this is the thing, us taxpayers are spending millions of dollars yep. to... Keep you, you know, yep, alive for your alive for your yeah. punishment. But if you take a life, I mean, yeah, it's like the old Rome. Like we talked about bringing the old Roman rules back. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, back in the gladiator days. Mm-hmm. I mean, yep. so I agree with you. 100%. Throw them all into a ring, let them fight. A tiger. Yeah, a tiger. <laughs> yeah. Like ten tigers. <laughs> would you watch? I, mean, I would 100% watch. <laughs> would so you tell me that there's a ring full of ten people that were convicted of, of child molestation. And, and you, murder. And you're like, oh, by the way, we're about to throw them in the ring with tigers. Yeah. I'll be. They're like, uh, tickets are a thousand bucks. I'll take ten. Sold. I'll take ten. Right now. How crazy would that be? I'll take all the tickets. Oh, right. shit. All right. Um, assisted suicide should be made legal. Mm. This is a tough one. I agree with this. I do too because listen, I mean I think it should be regulated. Like if you have a terminal disease mm-hmm. and you're going to die a slow painful death, yep. and you want to just be surrounded by your friends and your family at the location of your choosing mm-hmm. and you want to go out sitting on the beach with your family, yeah. Why why is that you know it's, what I mean? It's your life. Right. Yeah. Exactly, and I should be able to choose when to end it, how I want to end it. Yes. I don't understand what the problem with that is. I agree 100%. You know? I mean, I get the religious aspect of it. People disagree because, you know what I mean? Like, suicide is, you know what I mean? And then, you know, technically, I guess it's murder. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? By the person that's, you know, that's helping. But it's, dude, it's your life. If that's how you want to go out, I'll be damned if somebody tells me that I can't die if I want to. Exactly. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And look... Life is precious. We get it. Mm-hmm. We're here. Live your life. Yeah. Because one moment you could be gone. Yeah. Because it, it's it's free and you can do it in a lot of places. Yeah. It's legal in a lot of countries. Yep. That you can do it. And but I agree with you a hundred percent. Like yeah. so, if you know, you know, you don't want to suffer, and you know they want to keep you alive, which I get. Yeah. Life is that's yeah. it. But 
I agree with everything you said. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yep. So, the voting age should be reduced to 16. No. I don't think so either, just because as a 16-year-old, you... I just don't think 16-year-olds... No, what's... Are... I mean, I, I, I think that there are some 16-year-olds that are well-informed. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I just don't think You're that right. the majority of them are. Yeah, they're out having fun. Right. They're, they're still in high school. They're being 16. They're still in high school. When right. you were 16, did you care about... No, I didn't give a shit. I didn't. I either. barely even knew who was in office. Exactly. So, I'm the same way. So, yeah. And I tell people all the time, even at our age now, yeah. if you want to make a difference, if you want to make a real change vote. in... Vote, but vote locally. Mm-hmm. Then vote... Right in your state, then right. vote. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Because do your, and do your research, like your yeah. own research. Don't just watch the news. Yeah. No. Do don't your watch own the news. research. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, do your homework on it. Yeah. So vote locally first. If you want to make that change, yeah. You know that people really want. I think that's where it's at. Mm-hmm. For sure, I agree. Uh, smoking should be illegal everywhere. Um, everywhere. I don't think everywhere. Yeah. I mean, people can I, smoke. I think the way that it is now is fine. If you, like, if you own a business, mm-hmm. you have the right to say whether people can smoke in there or 100%. not. But I don't think that, I think that if you own a bar and you want to allow smoking, then I think you should have the right to say that they can smoke in your bar. Yeah. And then if people don't like that bar because they're smoking, then they can just go somewhere else. Exactly. Because there are other bars. Right. There's thousands of them. Yeah. And, you know, smoking, I'm so glad that they stopped smoking in bars. Yeah, me too. Big time. Because I was, I was there for the transition. Mm-hmm. So before I would go out when, you know, when I was 21 or, yeah. Oh, we could smoke. You know, that was a mm-hmm. cool thing to do, you know. Yeah. But not letting people <clears throat> smoke in bars was the best. Yeah. I mean, I do agree, though. That I think it's fine that they outlawed smoking in so many places because it is such a health hazard. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It's bad. So. And, like, you know, if you go to people's houses that they smoke in. Yeah. Right away, obviously you don't smoke. So your house is smoke free. Mine too. When you go into a a house that. Oh, it smells so bad. But instantly, right? Yeah. It hits you and you're just like, oh. And it follows you too. Oh, yeah. Like you leave that house. Five minutes later, you smell like smoke. you're gonna drag that smell around yeah. to you all the time. But yeah. it, it's like it just it's it hits you. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. For sure. <clears throat> but yeah, so smoking, you know, you could smoke outside for sure. Yeah, you know, not everywhere. Yeah, God. Uh, prisoners should be allowed to vote. Ooh, this is good. I think you know, prisoners are eighteen and over normally, mm-hmm. right? They have the legal right to vote. Yeah, and I I think that prisoners should be allowed to vote. One hundred percent. I um, I think that it's that it's unfair that because they've done something, or there should be some stipulations with it. You know what I mean? Like, you know, some crimes. You know what I mean? Like, I I have a felony for a DUI. Right. Um. So I couldn't vote for a long time. That's what I'm saying. Right. But... Because I had a felony. So it's yeah. like, I get it because, you know, you broke the law, so, we sh- you know, but it's I, it's like a gray area. It's, yeah. But I think that everybody, no matter what they've done, should have the right to vote. And I think, you know, not Because just me... because you're in jail doesn't mean you're a bad person. Exactly. Or, you know, an uninformed individual. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, so. Took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah. This is the thing. You did something bad, you know, it is what it is, but if you want to make a difference... In the world, you know, voting is huge. Mm -hmm. You know, just like I said prior, but prisoners aren't all dumb. You know what I'm saying? Like they know what's going on in the world. Yeah, they have a right to make that change. Yeah, you know, and it could, you know, a lot of things could be different. Oh yeah, presidents, you know, Mm -hmm. in voting in general, there's like over a million people in jail (laughs) in the U.S. That's a lot of votes. Yeah, that's a lot of votes, and it could swing either way. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I don't know. I think I think they definitely have, you know, felony or you know, no felony. I mean, yeah. I, just I don't, think like I don't if like you're in rule. prison in the state where you're a resident, you should be able to vote. Yeah. Like if oh, I went sure. out, if I went out to California, and robbed a jewelry store, and then I was in prison in California, 
I probably shouldn't be able to vote in California. True. Right, right, right. Because I'm not from, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not a resident of California. So. That makes sense, too. Yeah. That's a good angle. I like All right. It. Here we go. Drug addicts should get help, not punishment. Oh, I mean, this is huge. Mm-hmm. This is a huge uh, epidemic. Yeah. Or whatever. In I agree with this somewhat. Okay. Um, I think that, I mean, addiction is a real live thing. It like is. it's, it's, and it makes people do shit that is totally out of character for them. Yes. So I think that there should be more of a cross between help and punishment. True. You know what I mean? I think it should be, you know, like a mandatory, um, like, you know, say they get a year for something. Like they should spent a year in a facility that's all about recovery. Yeah. It's like a jail, but it's focused on recovery. Recovery. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, you know, rehab. Yep. Um, you know, I agree again. It's just um, the older I get, I have met more people that are and have become mm-hmm. addicts. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So to see it, I understand, you know. I understand it a little more. Yeah. Which is cool, but I agree there's... Sh- they should be getting a lot more help. A lot There should more. be separate facilities. Because there is... I mean, there's people in prison, you yeah. know, like what I'm saying. Um, they're in there for a year, but they're not getting help. No. You know they're not I mean? getting any help at all. And they're just, you know... Yeah. The prison environment is obviously not the best, mm-hmm. we'll say. So... Um, the help they need, they're not getting. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, even prisoners just in general don't get <laughs> yeah. the help that they need to go to get out and then stay on the up and up. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah. So drug, I mean, they they definitely, and you know, I feel like it is swaying that way. Yeah. There is more rehab centers and there is more help for yeah, them. Yeah. But there's definitely not, it's not even close to being enough. No. It's not. And, you know, I thought about this the other day. I was like, what if all drugs were legal, right? Mm -hmm. Just say they're all legal. There's obviously a a good and a bad to Mm -hmm. it. Like, all the crime, I feel, would stop because you're not fighting over... Nah, no way. But then people could just get it so much easier. Just the... Right. But then the the rehab, you know what I mean? Right. But it's just a tough... Yeah. I think they should definitely... Yeah, I think they should definitely... Get rehab centers, for yeah. sure. Advertising to children should be banned. Agree. Do you? Yeah, 100%. I'm a dad. Okay. Um, And there is just so much out there that influences the minds of children. Okay. Um, There was a study done in kids under 10 years old, mm. and they showed them... Um, logos for companies. Okay. Right? Some was like Greenpeace and, you know, like the, the, the official seal of the United States of America. Okay. And like all this stuff. And then there was like McDonald's and Burger mm. King and Coca-Cola. Yeah. And these kids, like 90% of them New didn't right know anything except for sodas and fast food and just stuff that is just not good yeah for kids and this stuff is ingrained in their minds you know what i mean like so but then you know they didn't know the seal of the united states you know of the president of the united states you know what i mean they didn't know right yeah Yeah. like they didn't know like the canadian flag you know what i mean like but they knew Mm. mcdonald's all the you you know what i mean so it's just it's so when so i don't have kids so this i I mean, I agree. I don't. I just don't know. Yeah. So, um, so when you became a parent, mm-hmm. did this become more? When you seen it, you were like, "Oh shit." Yeah, because I mean, you know, I mean, you start researching different stuff though when you're a parent. You yeah. know what I mean? And you start looking at the world in a totally different of type course. of way. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. noticeable. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely noticeable. And difference. you know, I I do agree. I do agree with this. Well. I do agree, because children, they see something flashy, you know, even, I'm trying to remember, like, when I was a kid, like, it it kind of, now that you say that, McDonald's, mm-hmm. just the, you know, yeah, 
the yeah, stuff it's that's like pushed the most, in your face. That, that, those Golden Arches are like one of the most recognizable brands <laughs> across the globe. I think we should buy a franchise. I, to just buy the one. And... Dude, they're so expensive. They're so expensive. <laughs> They're so, and I'm not paying people $15 an hour. <laughs> You're out of your mind. It'll just be me and you working the whole shit. Right. Ding, ding, ding. No, but yeah, so. No, that's cool, you know. Yep. Um, so, beauty competitions create unrealistic beauty standards. 100%. Whew. Yes. 100%. I mean, it's, you know, you're being told you're beautiful constantly yeah you know what i mean well it, it's it's it shames people that think that they need to look like that yeah to be beautiful that's where i was you going know what i mean because i mean there is so many people in the world that are beautiful that don't fit in in the little tiny mold yes that's acceptable for beauty pageants you know you what are i mean 100 percent right but then you know like you were get on saying it screws up the people that are in the the pageants too because then they get so like oh my god am i Right, yeah. You know, in your whole life, you know, you're just right. like, oh my God, I'm not beautiful. Right. Just for example, um, you know, I went out the other night and someone wasn't a, a fan of me, mm-hmm. you know. I didn't let it ruin my night. Right. You know what I mean? But, you know, I just kept going on. Yeah. You know, in my mind, I was like, damn, you know, whatever. But yeah. when you're being told, oh, you're beautiful, you're beautiful. Mm-hmm. No, no, a yes person, you know what I mean? Right. I, it's it's it's, it's a, not good for the brain. No, you know what I mean. No, on either end, you know what I mean. And this is the thing too: is people that don't fit the beauty pageant um, scheme, yeah, are some of the most beautiful people, yeah, that you'll ever meet. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And just looks don't mean shit. Yeah. Let me tell you. You know, it's just it's all about the personality, mm-hmm. and that's what makes. A beautiful person. Yeah. That's right? why I'm beautiful as shit. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so beauty, they do they do make it unrealistic. Yeah, I agree. Um, thing. I agree. All right. Uh, <clears throat> violent video games should be banned. Mm. This? I just wholeheartedly disagree with this. I do too. It's, no, they shouldn't be. Right. They're a video game. Right. It's you not know, real. The, the only problem with violent video games is parents that let their kids play the games before they understand the realistic the shit. Real, uh, right. The realism of Right. I mean you let a life. you let a seven year old play something where they're ripping people's heads off and there's blood splattering everywhere. You know what I mean? Like with a machete, like that's that's not what an eight year old should be doing. No. And this is the Make thing. Make him put his shoes on and go outside and play something. And so make them make up an imaginary game. Like, Dude, that's I'm... the kind of games I had when I was a kid was the ones that I had to make up. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, and that's why this is a controversial topic, right? Mm-hmm. So, I just am not a fan of giving your kid a cell phone, a tablet. Mm-hmm. You know? Yes, it does make them be quiet. Oh, mm-hmm. it gets them out of your hair, whatever. But, it's the this, this, the stuff they see, mm-hmm. especially when that young of age. Yeah. When you start seeing yeah. stuff at that young, I could see where maybe yeah it might do something, but just go outside and play. Right, just go outside and play. I played football by myself. Mm-hmm. I thought I was fucking Andre Reed from the Bills every day going outside. You know what I mean? Throwing passes to myself. I just... Um, but... Video games are more realistic. I get yeah. it. You know. Mm-hmm. But just don't just let them right. go outside and play. Right. So, outside. I mean, you obviously, you're a father, and I don't... Well, it's funny because, you know, I'm I'm a father and I'm a streamer. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I was going to get like, it. I, I was like, I, how do you, you know, go about, like... I'm working on making a career out of playing <laughs> video games. Um, so, but, I mean, I'm 34 years old. Yeah. yeah you yeah. know what I mean? I, I'm not going to let my daughter play exactly. Call of Duty when she's seven. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's right. not... That's just, just not what's going to happen. Exactly. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I, she's going to see and be exposed to the world at a very young age anyways. Yes. You know? So, I have to do my best to try and teach her the difference between games and reality. Yeah, yeah. You know? But, and that's all part of being a parent as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's, it's tough these days, man, because, you know, <clears throat> I, she can't walk past anything without seeing an advertisement for this or an advertisement for that. Or uh, it, it goes goes right back to what we were just saying. I like You know that, what I mean? Yeah. So it's, And you are so right. 
you know, but then, you know, they she sees something, you know, playing on YouTube or some stupid ad. Every time you watch a YouTube video, them stupid ads come up. They do. And it's for it, Taco Bell. Yep. You know what I mean? And it's like, wha- you know what I mean? It's crazy. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Right. Taco I mean, Bell. I do love Taco Bell, though. So. I mean, I do, too. I'll take you to Taco Bell. <laughs> I hope they sponsor us one day. Right. <laughs> It'll be imagine? funny. She'll be like going through like YouTube's archives one day, <laughs> and she'll see she'll see this episode right now, and she'll be like, "Dad, can we go to Taco Bell?" I'll be like, "Yup, yup, no, no, <laughs> shit." <clears throat> oh, that's great. Uh, okay, so healthcare should be free to everyone. Mm. Yes, I do believe. Health healthcare is huge, man. However, logistically, it's impossible. It is impossible to have it be free. So I have without taxes being here. And of course, Canada has free healthcare. Yep. So does so does the the UK. Okay. So um, stories I've heard. Yeah. I don't know personally. That the healthcare isn't the best. Correct. Have you heard the same thing? Correct. Same in England. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you go in and they just kind of, you know, whatever. Which is fine. I get it. Um, but if you don't have a job that supplies healthcare, mm-hmm. um, just for example, I had kidney surgery mm-hmm. two years ago. I just paid it off with healthcare, right? If I didn't have health care, it would have cost thirty thousand dollars. It's crazy. Right? It's crazy. So And how's somebody supposed to bounce back from that? You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. And that's just a, a little kidney surgery. That's like because that wasn't like an invasive thing. Imagine no, no. if you had to have a heart transplant. You're talking a quarter million dollars. Uh, you know, at and least. This is, yeah, so this is the thing. So my mom, she had a stroke um, many years ago, mm-hmm. right? She was in the hospital for months, like a month, close to a month. Yeah. Right? She was covered, of course, blah, blah, blah. Yep. But if she wasn't covered, it was close to a million bucks. <sighs> Who in their right mind? Now, we're not rich. We live an average life. We're normal people. Love There's no life. way we could no. ever bounce back Never. from that. Never. That bill would... The bill I got for my kidney surgery, every month, ting, 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 ting. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it doesn't hurt your credit. I get it. And people are like, oh, just don't pay the medical. But that's why medical and healthcare is so great because no one pays the shit. You right. know what I mean? So it's like, oh. Yep. But it's, I think it should be free for sure, you know? Yep. And even... I, I just think that the system needs to get reworked. It does. You know what I mean? Just to, to be more flexible. For everybody. For certain people in certain situations yep. you know and because I mean? you know and there's people that don't work and there's people you know that get free health care yeah you know what i mean they're getting the same stuff i'm getting right you know what i mean yeah but you're paying 300 dollars a month mm-hmm. it's crazy but yeah so the whole system does have to be worked yeah. reworked but i do believe somehow people should get some sort of free health care mm-hmm. right yeah for sure yeah all right here's a big one <laughs> Rich people should pay more taxes. Mm. Um, I agree. I guess I think it should be equal across the board. I agree. I think the percentage that you get taken out of your paycheck mm-hmm. for taxes should be equally based throughout the whole pay scale across the board. Yeah, yeah. So, so like, yeah, because like you know, when I started working, you know, I was making I don't know what eight dollars an hour, mm-hmm. and I got taxed whatever percentage. And then, you know, when I got advanced in my career and I got up to the point where I was making 50 grand a year, yeah. I was still getting taxed the same percentage. Exactly. So now if someone that's making a million dollars a year, why would you not also get taxed that percentage? Exactly. Why, why, why is the percent of my money less than the percent of your money? Exactly. Now, right. granted, it's more money. You know, even though your percentage is lower, right. you're still paying more in taxes than I am, but why is there that gap? And I always wonder that, like, these millionaires, you know, granted, they're millionaires, I, I love it, good yeah. for them, but pay your taxes because right. they don't get taxed for shit. I know. They, 
uh, the Amazon dude, mm-hmm. Bezos, he paid zero taxes last year. I know. And he's a billionaire. Imagine what his taxes would have been if he made, if he got taxed <laughs> like we got taxed. I mean, why is it that he, just because he's rich in a business, everybody's opening their own business now. I get mm-hmm. it. You know, it's a, you know, you want to work for yourself, which is fine. But just because you make that much money, and I just wonder where in history that went right left. Right. You know what I mean? Way like, left. Why the fuck are these millionaires, you know, not getting taxed? Mm-hmm. Where did that go wrong? Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. Maybe that's a, well, maybe that's yeah, a show. Maybe we'll figure that out. <laughs> but it, they should definitely, everyone across the board, regardless if you make $3 an hour or right. if you make a billion dollars an hour. Yeah. Because... Even these athletes, yeah, they get taxed. Mm-hmm. They get, they get a hundred million dollar contract. Yeah, that shit ain't a hundred million. Cut that in half. No, no, it ain't that much though. They get tax breaks too, though. Do they? Oh yeah, of course they do. God damn it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so I think equally across the board. I think equally you agree? across the board too. Yeah. What you got? Um. All right. Some soft drugs should be made legal. Mm. I definitely. Do agree, and I think it's going that way with the marijuana. I think that it's fine if weed is made legal. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what else would be considered a soft drug, though. Um, so nowadays, I'm not, obviously we're not into the right. drug world. No, but um, we read and we hear about a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. Of course, um, you know the pills are not even close to soft. They're, nope. Those are more of a gateway to yes, the bad shit yep. than um, weed. I, I don't think there's you know anything what I mean? else that should be legal. I mean, if you go, yeah, if you think about it, it's just alcohol. Treat weed like alcohol. Right. Got it. Everyone smokes fucking weed, so what? Okay. Um, now with the with like with the heroin and the coke. Now that. That's hard drugs. That alters your that oh yeah. That messes you up. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing else that I would be on board with being legal. Yeah. So you wouldn't, you would never, the whole make all drugs legal, like no I said earlier. No fucking way. No, it would just make more no way. Be it would make for it a, worse. A disaster. Yeah. yeah. Because they'd be so readily available. To anyone that wanted them, yeah, you could just go and to the corner kid, store and, and buy even kids right. That's what I mean. Really, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, nah. No, you are right. Yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah, just the weed. Yeah. Which is cool. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm cool with that. I'm fine with it. Yeah. All right. So this is you know another huge issue. Mm-hmm. Not an issue, but um, marriage is no longer necessary. I I agree. I don't think that it's necessary anymore. I think that it's still a, a good thing, and I think that of course. you know what I mean. Um, but I, I don't. I, I just. I think that the days of you the know, tradition. You get married when you're 22, and you yeah, have yeah, a kid yeah. when you're 23, <laughs> and then you have your second one when you're 25, and then you. You know what I mean? Like I just think it's so stupid. Yeah. Because I. I don't think that people get to experience life enough when they're put under those constraints of. You know what I mean? Now I'm married. Now I have a kid, and now I'm 25. You and know what I mean? Like just getting that routine. Of, right. Yeah. It's like, but what, what, what has prepared you in your life to be able to take care of a child? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Not like, that. what have you done in your? What life lessons have you learned? Yeah. Oh well, none. Okay. Well, then how are you going to teach your kid to grow up to not be a douchebag? Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. no, you, you make know, a great I point. I was 32 when my daughter was born. Yep. Um. 32? 31. 32. <laughs> How 30, old am I? Two? I lose whatever. I lose it too. I'm still 32. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> 32, sure. Um, and, you know, I had, I lived my life in all my 20s and I made big mistakes and I, I learned big lessons and I you had and learned. fun and I, you know, like I can teach her from what I experienced in my life. Yep. You know what I mean? Far better than some 20-something-year-old would ever be able to do. Yeah. You know? So. I think for sure the tradition of that is long gone. Yeah. By far. And anyways, the divorce rate. Oh, it's crazy. Is higher than 50%. Yeah. So it, mm-hmm. 
it's and just I just the, don't see the pressure of marriage. Like, I mean, I've been engaged for three years now, yeah. maybe three years, mm-hmm. probably three years. I, you right. know, like, what's yeah. the, what's the rut? Why? Why? I mean, will we get married? Yeah, but it doesn't. Uh, let's do it now. Let's do it uh, right. Now, you know like I mean? that, and plus that whole thing where like. You know, people usually get, like, engaged, and then they're engaged for, like, a year, year and a half, and then they get married. The stipulations you're talking about. Why? Yeah. Right. And, I mean, I still get people who, oh, when are you going to get married? When are you going to get married? When I fucking feel like getting married is when I'll get married. This is the thing. You know what I mean? People that ask that, you're like, um, when it happens, they'll know. Right. You know what I mean? (laughs) It's like, well, what's it matter? Because you won't be invited anyways. (laughs) That's what I really want to tell people. Be like, oh, why aren't you married yet? Yeah. What's it matter to you? You ain't going to be invited. Right. So what's the difference? On my destination wedding in Hawaii that you're not going to be at? Right. You're oh. not going to be there, bitch. You got to do a destination, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, you are? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. That's always been our plan. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. I think that's... If yeah. I was to get married... Bora now, Bora, dude. Oh. Bora Bora. I got my passport. Oh, yeah. Good shit. Yeah. So, anyways... You're not um, invited, though. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> No, you're invited because I want to do a show from Bora Just Bora. when I thought I was going to be able to use my passport. No, I want to do a show from Bora Bora, so you got to be invited. Jackie's going to be like, you invited Matt? I'm going to be like, fuck yeah, dude. Was... She, she's going to be like, are you guys going to do a show? I'll be like, yeah, on the beach, dude. We're never going to be able to right. do this again. Right. Ever. Ever. <laughs> we'll have our one drink in coconut shell. Oh, God. Fucking great. So for me, I've obviously, I'm against the whole traditional um marriage thing you mm. know what i mean like i my lifestyle is definitely way different than the average person who yeah. you know i mean i'm responsible i pay my bills yep. blah, 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 whatever but i i just live how i want to live mm-hmm. you know and um being married is just it's cool i guess but yeah. like you said it's not necessary right if you like someone or love someone yeah and you you know you're in that commitment yeah that's what it is. Yep. You know what I mean? 100%. And, like, I just think the whole marriage thing is, the tradition is yeah. outdated. Yep. I agree. Whew. Um, Bora, Bora. I know. Dude, it's going to be fucking Dude, sweet. Dude, when are you going to get married? <laughs> it doesn't matter because you ain't invited. See I, see, I told you you weren't invited. There's I only going to be, like, six people there because everybody <laughs> fucking keeps asking me, so... Just, I hey, it's, look, it's getting cheaper for me by the day. Son of a bitch. It's getting cheaper for me by the day. <laughs> all right. Uh, um, that was great. All right, I'm going to do one more. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. What's one more good one? Uh, okay, if you have more money, you will be happier. Mm. Um... I believe, you know, I do know a couple wealthy people, Mm -hmm. I will say. Yep. Wealthier than me. They make good money. They seem happy. But when you talk to them, Mm -hmm. they still have the same issues as us normal people have. I mean, I'd like to give it a shot because I've been broke my whole life. So, Mm -hmm. you know. I agree. How could it be any worse? Yeah. I'm not going to say it would make me happier. Maybe slightly less stressed. Yep. Sometimes. For sure. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I Would money change you? Like if you, just say you, would you be a different person if you came into, just say $20 million? No, on the inside? And like what I stand just for you, and who you, I am and my as personality? A, as no, my, person. no, it wouldn't change. You I'd would. just have cooler shit. Right. <laughs> I mean, no, that's, and I, and, you know, and I wouldn't worry about, you know, what bills I got to pay this month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that would be the only thing that would change. I would yeah. just have cooler shit. And, you know, I, I feel like, listen, I've been broke my whole life, too. Yep. If I was to run into $20 million, I would definitely be the same person. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And for me, if you're close to me and you're in my little realm of people. Oh, yeah. You're getting some bread. You're probably going to get some money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just to make your life better. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And it's not me thinking I'm better. No. You know what I mean? Just, yeah. I'm helping just you. spreading up. the love. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we all, you know, we're we're real normal yeah. people. Yeah. So, and like, I like helping my friends, too. I'm helping course, people in dude. general. So, I guess, technically, yes, then money, money would make me happier. 
True. Because oh, I yeah, yeah, get, yeah. yeah, I'm happy to help people. Exactly. So if I could give my friends some money and then they could be a little less stressed, yeah. that would make me happy. So, yeah. I'm in the so same if someone boat. would like to give me some money and test this theory out, um, let's see. How cool would that be? Ten bucks would make me happy too. So you Venmo can find, me. You can find me on Venmo, <laughs> PayPal, and Cash App. Or you can donate directly to my stream at Panicky OG at Twitch TV. There you go. <laughs> How crazy would that be? Though? Oh, it'd be great. But yeah, for me, if I had that, I would definitely... So for me, my philosophy now in life, obviously not when I was younger, but for now, yeah. if I win, the people around me win. Yep. And that's just... Uh, it's When you talk to people in your life now, mm -hmm. right? You grow up, obviously, you meet a million fucking people. Yep. You know? But the people you talk to now are in your life for a reason. Yep. So if I had 20 million bucks, you know, those people... They don't talk to you for no reason. Right. At our age. You yep. know what I mean? So it's like, bam, mm -hmm. helping you out. Yep. So, yes, those are <sighs> controversial. Oh, we got into them. I mean, that was good. But we're pretty much on the same page for everything, though. Yeah. I feel yeah. like the people that I hang out with, though, like those kind of topics, I'm all pretty yeah. like minded. It's great. Okay. You're with right. the people that I surround myself yeah. with. You know what I mean? But if you go and take this list to a random bar, like the bar I was at last yeah. night, oh. right, you're gonna get all kinds of different answers. My lord, mm -hmm. that's a whole nother show. Yeah, right that's there. a whole different show. <laughs> that could be a reality show. Right. That'd be that'd be like a fight show, though. Well, yeah, that's somebody true. ended up fighting somebody, <laughs> and we'd just be sitting there like this. So uh, Put the camera that way. Uh, yeah. yeah. So yes, that is our one drink. For the show, controversial topics. Yep. If you agree or not agree, comment below. Let us know. Yep. How you stand on yep. any of these because these are all realistic things yep. that we all go through. Yep. We all know. So. Yep. I liked it. I thought it was a cool yep. show. And don't forget, if you tell me I need to get married, then you're also not invited to my wedding. Oh, oh, damn. Suckers. You know that's coming. So I know. You need to get I married. Know. When are you getting married? Oh my god, blah blah blah. <laughs> there you go. There's your answer. Anyways, guys, don't forget you can check out our history. You'll show. know when we do the show from Bora Bora, bitch. <laughs> Damn, are they on the beach of Bora Bora? Well, wedding. <laughs> Sun setting in the back. Oh, right, we got shit. these big tiki hats. <laughs> Somebody's standing behind us with a big leaf just uh, fanning us. Oh, yeah. I want the person feeding me grapes, too. I want to just get fed grapes. And then you're just like, by some island <laughs> goddess, you know what I mean? <laughs> feed me grapes. Be That's fantastic. when I'm getting married. Oh. Uh. Don't forget, guys, you can check out both our history, show, our, our history show on both Facebook and YouTube, as well as our um, full-length shows here on mm -hmm. Wednesdays. And don't forget, you can also check out our brand new reaction videos throughout the week, yep. every single week. And don't forget, if you're not subscribed right now, just hit that sub button, click on the bell notification to be the first ones notified when our new episodes hit. Yep. And just please share with one friend. Yep. That's it. Just one. Simple. That's it. But anyways, guys, until next time. See you. Cheers. All right. Hi guys, I'm Alex from Gods and Gladiators. Uh, I just wanted to thank One Drink Podcast for all the support they've been giving me. And what we've been doing is selling a lot of my monoprint t-shirts, tanks, hoodies, and wall art. These are some of my art pieces I have out here. It's a beautiful day. Finally, we get to enjoy Rochester for what she is. And we just, uh, we're gonna celebrate. Anyways, I'm gonna be at the Rochester Public Market selling these on Saturdays for sure. If Tuesdays and Thursdays are nice out, you can find me there as well. The Rochester Public Market is open Tuesdays and Thursdays. Saturdays and Sundays as well. Just look online, they have a schedule and all sorts of events going on. Don't forget to watch One Dream Podcast. Cheers. <laughs>